Most of the people that are asking me how do I compose my music, why well, my music sounds so soulful and stuff. First things first, this is not a studio. This is a sound room at church. Because I can't afford studio time. This is where I come and compose some of my songs, just play around. So today I'm gonna to be playing around some of the songs that are composed, some of the songs they are still ideas. I'm not a pianist. Please get that straight. I am not a pianist. I am not uh, going to show you. I'm not going to do all those things. I can't do that. I am not a, a pianist. I play, I play drums. I'm a drumist. If it is to go to them. I am a drumist and I'm a music producer. That's who I am. So, yeah, let's just get at it. Let me just play some of my, okay, let me first start with my songs, one of the songs that I've composed. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't know it, but... Uh, mm. So, what happens is that I get a chord progression here, and then I... I memorize the, the, the chords, or the sound of the chords, so that when I go back home, I can just lay the chords on, on footy loops or cue bass, just draw the chords, get the chords, then to get the bass and the melodies, for me that's very simple. And the drum pattern is very simple, but I need to get first the, the chords, you know. I go sitting around and just playing around. This is one of my songs. If you go to African churches, there's a famous song. You go say Moko So I just wanted to play it in a different way or to sing it in a different way, but it's not as slow as I'm playing it or on the real song, you know, because. I'm not a pianist, like I said. I don't know how to do the... So let me just get a drum pattern that's more similar to that. I love 6-8. I love to play on the 6-8. I love to play on the 6 There's nice drum patterns. There's a lot of drum patterns. So you see how it is when you're working in church, people they can come and just step in any time. But the, 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 the time that you have is very precious so that you can keep things in your mind, you know. You know? I don't know if you can hear the beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We all see. So, just getting the, the chords, chord progressions, after getting the chord progressions, I write them down or memorize them or memorize the way it sounds. Then when I go back home, I just play the chords, you know. First start with the chords, I start maybe with one note, then after I get this, it's just easy to, to place them, you know. And then 
love that then I put the bass, then I put the lead and all those things just bring back the song, song to uh, and just give that song life. So this is not uh, a song that I really wrote down. It's a song that we sing in church. It says, uh, he's the Lord of all Lords, he's the King of all Kings. It's just worshiping God. So that's what the song is all about. You never hear it being played the way that I'm playing. Not in the way I, I can't do that. I'm not a pianist. I just have some small knowledge of uh, scales and things like that, major scales and minor scales. Just have some ideas of that. So yeah, that's how the song was done.